Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to back to another episode of the non cooperators where hopefully this will be the last episode of Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble, so it might be a little bit long. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's hopefully we don't get go yeah, get killed yet again, like always. So, shall we continue? Turn that fucking shit on, blow up your fucking legs, and beat the shit out of Metal Gear on the top part of it. Yes, Campbell, what the fuck do you want? Yeah, I know, destroy Metal Gear, blah blah blah. Two fucking hours of recording time, and God only knows how many hours of actual gameplay that I've actually did just to get back to this fucking part of the game because of fucking saved footage. A saved game bullshitness. Didn't do shit. Didn't do anything but kill, but destroy my health. Yeah, that just only hurt me more. I feel like the mines don't do shit. Wow, that one mine did it something. As soon as I say, mines don't do anything. I'll we'll show you, my flesh. I'll show you. Yeah, there, see, I took some health. No, you just a bit. You just fucked up. See, I think the C4 does a lot more damage. This definitely reminds me of, the, of one of the original fights from Metal Gear Solid. Uh, from the... One of the original Metal Gear games of fighting Metal Gear like this. I don't remember which one it was. I think it might have been the second. Was it the second one? Yeah, I think it was the second one when you're actually fighting Metal Gear. Because I think in the first Metal Gear, you weren't fighting Metal Gear. You kind of were destroying it. It was there being like, "Hey, I'm Metal Gear. Destroy me." And the second one is actually going, "Hey, I'm gonna stomp you long from." I don't know, something along those lines. I think it was uh, Frank Yeager was actually controlling it. All right. Machine guns is to disable to open up that shit to actually destroy Metal Gear, and, and that opens up that shit to be destroyed. Alright, here we go. Try the grenades one more time, and hopefully we don't get killed by them. I think it's the guns. Or something. There we go. Shit. You were doing so good, Snake. What happened? Whoops. Shit, 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 shit. God damn it! Like I said, you were doing so good. There we go. I do apologize if my banter is like you know down to nothing, because I'm just now more focused on the fact that I just don't know what the fuck else to talk about. Hey, you want something about Metal Gear Survivor? No. I don't think anybody wants to talk about Metal Gear Survivor. I'm sure there's people that do want to talk about it. Oh man. Come on. Next fight. There's this fucking shit. I hate these things. Come on, open up. Open. I want you to open. I have a rocket for you. I think I, I gotta destroy this. Well, not destroy it, but, you know, fuck with it. Let's see if this works. No. It does damage it, but it's not enough. Fuck. There. Bro. Dodge that shit like the Matrix. I 
Motherfucker. Use my one fucking ration that this game fucking gives me. Alright. Back to the armor so I don't get killed as fast. Shouldn't get killed as fast. Oh, fuck me. That's new. Nope, that didn't move. That didn't do anything except hurt me. Alright. Um, I don't know what else we can do. Grenades. I feel like this guy's out of defense, so it's like, what do I do? What do I. Uh, fire! Ah, oh, shit, it does. It goes through everything. At least it gives me, like, some way to defend myself. Well, not defend myself, but, like, you know, way to get the fuck out of there. Kida. I don't think the Kida's good, though. At least not for this fight. I can stay back here. Nope. Nowhere for the missile to, uh, to enter. Without getting destroyed. Nope. No bueno. I need grenades are better. Shit. I feel like they're doing this on purpose. They're like they're giving me shit that is not gonna fucking work. Ah, oh, damn it. Here we go. Open up, motherfucker! There we go. The fight with Metal Gear is now finally fucking dead. Yay. That's stage 12 cleared, now the last- Yeah, I did terrible, well fuck you. Okay, so, now, stage 13, which is the last stage in the final fight where I actually get to fight Viper hand-to-hand -hand combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Hang on, I can't do Frank's voice. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Something along those lines. Solid Snake. The name, legend, may have been pro propana pro propaganda but it seems no extra i'm going to sleep good night i want the truth all of it mm, i woke up from my nap a winner's privilege after all you have the right to know about outer heaven metal gear project babel and the link between glf and the US. Long fucking story that's gonna take up the rest of this episode, so here we go. Out of Heaven was a US black, uh, black adventure that provided mercenaries to its clients. It was a way to unofficially check anti-American forces, and the idea apparently originated with the DDCI of the, of the time. What? But the field commander, Big Boss, was a loose cannon that broke out of the program and Outer Heaven was brought down by you. You mean Big Boss, not my father. You mean Venom Snake. As part of the possible deniabil deniability of their involvement in Outer Heaven, the government consisted of a hero myth handed to you and Fox Sound to the interna international media. That is the truth behind your rise to the status of legend. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> to learn that your glory was staged one. And the connection between the GLF and the US? Even after Outer Heaven collapsed, the relation went on right into the Project Babel. The US provided co uh, covert support for GLF. I was there, field controller, and the objective was diminish of anti-American forces and the Amer and the African co uh, containment, Prov uh, provoke an ethnic majority of Grendra into a cult. Cal 
I can't go. Calculated conflict and their involvement in other neighborhood nations. It's getting very hard to actually start reading this now that the fact that it's like, you know, 1.30 in the fucking morning. Creating a climax of hostile to the sky, discouraged organization alliances and sent into the con uh, uh, containment of the United States of America. Uh, uh, peace. Peacekeeping troops for the uh, uh, evidence day where they can ex exercise control over the entire region. It was a bit after the world and confusion of the post Cold War era that means the establishment of the United States uh, under superpower, a uh, single uh, Helsham over an uh, anti. Uh, uh, official events. Oh my god, I'm fucking dizzy because I'm fucking tired. It was Project Babel, the brainchild of peace, uh, peacekeeper, blah 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 blah, guardian of and guardian of safety. And here, a disc. Take it. The disc contains all the information that Parker ordered that woman soldier Chris to destroy. It is all here, proof of what I have just told you. Introducing details of the blood of the bank transactions. There is enough dirt in here to bring down some of the highest people in the government. This is like a bomb, ready to explode. This too is a is a winner's privilege. Do uh, do with it what you like. You <clears throat> you deceived your people all all the time. Your followers be your followers believed you. So does Sophie. Yes, Sophie. I left her cruelly too, but still, she stayed with me uh, as a lieutenant, and never saw her smile after that. Didn't uh, d deceive them, I had no intention of be being Parker's henchman in the first place. I was uh, da -da 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 a country, the end uh, justifies the means, especially when the others have faith, fiction, only have time if you wanted. Can a nation build by the... Uh, those mean to have any value? Ha, uh, doesn't have to da 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 I have no idea what the fuck is going on because they're just talking way too fucking much. <laughs> Health goes up and battle, right? 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 Or is he dead? Viper. No, Viper's back. I told you it's not over yet. Viper! Still? Thanks for saving me the trouble of removing the general. He controlled the Metal Gear to the end, and I had the pleasure of listening to your conversation, and so finally, I know the identity of Anonymous. It was worth the trouble for Lee- Oh, so the Anonymous was the general, I think. A way out of here. You? This was all a ploy to bring Anonymous out into the open seas of Metal Gear, leading you and Campbell out here to Outer Heaven, all part of the plan. What does what the Colonel have to do with this? You don't know what he did? Your dear friend Roy Campbell was the commander of Foxhound that night two years ago. The Colonel? I figured that when Metal Gear's history repeated itself and you and Campbell were pulled into the f uh, the, f uh, the fry the fray anonymous would have to get involved two years I have waited for this moment two long years damn it the decision to call Campbell and to send me was made at the highest level how could I have been involved in that proceeding oh my god so much fucking talking let me just kill this fucker already because he's a bitch it's like worse than writing snake we have a problem. No, no, no. You have a problem. Sorry, I'm just a uh, little distracted. We have a problem. The fifth black chamber. What? Hey. Colonel. Colonel. What's going on? The fifth black chamber was right here. Who is this? McBride! Of course. Surprise! After I survived two years, I parted with others and slipped into your side and changed everything. My face, my name, my past, my art, to gather the information and to everything. And McBride. So that was anonymous, I think. You may forget to, or refuse to acknowledge it, but our hell goes on, and we are uh, an agonim. Ah, oh, so Metal Gear's still active. What did you just do? The bolts of vengeance prepare for your nuclear strike. How can that be? Metal Gear was destroyed! 
You are a fool. Did you think Metal Gear was just an armored transport for a nuclear payload? What? The nation of this beast, the, the, the nature of this beast is to internal and launch systems and satellite and an agonum armed satellites? Nuclear strike from planetary or orbit. That's right, able to strike any point on the Earth without relaying, relying on ICBMs, and impossible to defend against. You're going to murder millions of innocent people for your personal vengeance? Innocent? Glazing on the support of the Aghanim, this is boring and anonymous and a lot of bullshit, Metal Gear. Alright, so let's see if we can actually finish this uh, final fight in this last video. So while this uh, elevator is rising, I've just activated the elevator. Once Metal Gear is out of the surface, its signal will be transmitted and those seven satellites will enter attack mode in 90 seconds. So I got 90 seconds to fight. I will, st I will stop you. Okay, Snake, give you your best shot. This is your last fight. Come on. Of course. A minute and a half, I gotta fight him. I don't think he's gonna attack me, I think he's just gonna keep running. At least I don't- I don't remember, honestly. Because, I mean, he's only gotta just dodge me for 90 seconds. Which has now turned into one minute. Oh, oh, no, he's got that shit. Seriously? 50-something seconds? I don't think it's even possible to take this guy on in this little amount of time. I feel like I gotta be pl placing some traps or some shit like that. Victory in 30 seconds. Yeah, see, there's no way of doing this. Victory in 20 seconds. For him. Shit. Ten seconds. I feel like he's just going back and forth. That's all he's really doing. Five seconds. Holy shit. Well, you're being a dick, so... We're above ground, the commanders were already taking attack, satellites just now, the nuclear death, vengeance, and that's a game over, so... That's bullshit, seriously, you gotta f beat him in, like, no time at all. Alright, let me do this one more time, because I think I know his- I know his pattern now. He's gonna go back and forth, that's all what he's gonna do. Like a bitch. Like a bitch. There we go, come on. Gonna kick your ass. And guess what, you're not equipped with food! Boss, didn't I kill you? Yes, but I was equipped with food! You bastard! Alright, now I'm now I got him. Now they know his pattern is going back and forth like a douche that he really is. Stop slivering, worm! Like, he knows he's fucked, because, yeah, that last shot was gonna fuck him. I was like, eh, I don't wanna get shot! Fuck you! Da -da 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 and I did terrible. Fuck you. you! You go eat a goddamn hairy bag of dicks.
All right, so that was the last stage, finally. I've shut down the control. I've shut the controls down. There's no way to launch now. I'm out. All right, so we're 20 minutes in this episode, which I figured this episode's gonna run a little bit long due to the fact that this is actually gonna be the last episode. How could I be beaten by you? Because I'm Solid Snake, motherfucker. Snake. How do you do it? How do you keep fighting? Living? For what? Whom? In the name of what cause? We're not tools of the government, or for anybody else. Fighting is the only thing I'm ever good at, but at least I fight for something that I believe. So that's why I should just, should just end. But what do you believe? Fuck you, boom. Viper. You're a bitch. Take your time, Chris, seriously. I, oh, it's Sophie. Snake. It's you. I'm gonna fuck you up. What about Chris? The general. I heard all of it. Including the part about GLF in the US. I see. What will you do now? Stay here. With GLF? Yeah, why not? Continue the general's work? Right now? I don't even know whether I loved him or hated him. I just couldn't leave his side. His, idea his, his ideas may have been fake, but they weren't empty. That's what I think. They were... Are still many still live here? Believe that too. And it's worked. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, it's so much fucking talking. It's all about what Metal Gear is all about. It's all about talking. Uh, and what the fuck is that? Oh, your twin. Snake! I found your twin. Oh, by the way, I got a car. Uh, it's her. Don't keep her waiting. I won't. But besides, I got Meryl. He called your name, you know, at the end. Did he? No, not really. I was just trying to get you a hard on. Alrighty then. So, can we get the fuck out of here? Snake, I got a jeep. Good work. Is it over? Yeah. It's all over. Is it? No, not really. It's Viper. What about her? She's strong. And she'll become even stronger. I feel like my snake voice is getting more raspier. Like, it's getting more... In like that. It's not... And that's not snake. It's more like... I can't do it anymore. <clears throat> oh my god, I can't do snake's voice anymore. Hang on. I was really impressed. It was something like that. Okay. Uh, you don't think you have to go with her? You know... To GLF? Why? Really nothing. Let's, uh, get the fuck out of here. Right. Fuck. Wait. There's a... There's... There's the Kodak. I'm assuming that they actually got McBride or whatever his name. Yeah, McBride. Snake. Colonel. Everything okay? Yeah. I put a bullet in McBride. <laughs> I'm fucking awesome. You? Uh, yada 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 I want to see that fucking shit happen. Like I put a bullet in McBride. Be like, hey McBride, I'm bang. Fuck you. I'm Weasel. Development of Metal Gear. Come on. Metal Gear used to be under CIA control, like Viper said. Uh, Gardner also said that one of the salvages Metal Gear you could total, uh, totaled from Outer Heaven and con uh, continued the development program. In the other word, uh, in other words, Project Babel was actually his idea. But two years ago, Metal Gear was seized by foreign terrorists, and the, oh my God, I don't care. I want to get the fuck out of here. We're 24 minutes in this episode. I'm not having a 40 minute long episode. I think the longest I can probably do for your guy, for your sake, is maybe 30 minutes, and then you're pretty much like, you guys are pretty much like. Okay, I'm done. Would you have another job to carry out? Sharp snake, uh, it's like... Your standing... Your standing wasn't sent on the field. Right again. Uh, about the only person who can take the legend. Weasel, you're going to kill us? Like I said, it's a uh, uh, policy of mine to earn the keep. How can you, so you'd like to say... But unfortunately, I kind of like people, especially your 
bleeding hard ways. Totally wrong for the combat situation, you know? It's been a while since I met people like you. Weasel, get out of here. I'll feed some, stro some story to Gardner. Probably get the only half of my pay for letting you escape, but who cares? Are you going to be alright? You could be in danger. I know how to take care of myself. Don't you worry. Thank you, Weasel. I'll repay the debt someday. I won't be counting on it. If I could live the way you people do, maybe I wouldn't have to let my brother die. Who the fuck was his brother? I was not paying any attention at all whatsoever. The colonel and the re the colonel and the rest are all right. Then let's go. We get in the jeep and drive away, like in Metal Gear Solid. That is a that's a weird jeep noise. So I think that's the end of the game. I had nothing around that that I could believe in. That my presence, not anyone else. That's why I joined the army and I gave me a sentence to write on another purpose. But that wasn't the right way. Uh, beliefs can be borrowed and have to be looked uh, for and thought about it for myself and had to face myself and start the searching and I will find it. That's good. But, but if it's possible, maybe I could make that search with you on my side. No, not at all. I'm going with Meryl. And he's like, ah, fuck it. Yeah. I like, yeah, I like that too. Really? No. I came to outer heaven to settle the score with my past. That was what I thought. But that wasn't the truth. I realized that when I met you. What I really wanted was death. What I, what I wanted after everything I had been, uh, been decided was someone, to take, was someone to take my life. I must have been afraid of seeing what was left standing myself as I really was. Is that how you still feel? No. I think I want to live. No. I think I want to live. Accept myself. Forgive myself. Live as living e even if it hurts you. Even if it hurts, even if it hurts in it. You taught me that. It's like you were my salvation. Snake? It's like, yeah, it, basically it looks like that Snake and Chris are gonna bang. So that's his Meryl for this game. That's why I decided to go back. Back? To the States? Uh-uh. Down! There's no, there's no way to let you go. Uh, they'll be waiting for you, uh, it's probably Foxhound. I know that. But I have to go back. Why? To understand. To understand what? Why we had to fight this fight. What it was, uh, what it was that I did. And who Sol Snake was. I'm going to confront the faceless man who played chess with people, people's lives and hearts in the shadows so that I can understand, and that, that will be confess. Every conspiracy that moved, every victim left on the trial of their private, private gain, everything. It's the only thing that I can do f for the casualties of theirs, and that my dirty war. Unless I do that, there'll be no forgiveness and nothing to find for me. Don't worry. I'm going back so that I can live. When I've made when I made them pay, I'll be back. Will, will you wait for me? A lot of shit to Oh wait fuck I missed that. Ooh, cool song. Hang on. Is it a cool song? Yay, cool song. Alright, so finally we beat Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble. Originally planned by Ooh Hideo Kojima! Mr. Kojima and the artwork by that dude again. Oh, no, actually, the artwork was actually the, this guy, and I actually met him and I got his autograph, which is kind of cool. Oh man, I am fucking tired. I kind of want to fast forward this just to see if there's anything special, because usually there is a lot of like you know secret endings with the, the Metal Gear Solid games. But I don't know if they actually had a secret ending with this game, but let's find out. So let's fast forward. Oh wait, no, it's gonna fast forward it for us. Okay, cool. So Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy, Game Boy Color. So Metal Gear Solid goes battle. 
Actually, I think it's actually called Metal Gear Ghost Babble, but Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble or whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna fast forward this, so you're gonna see all the credits, and we'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Here's the ending, and see if there's anything special. That was actually a pretty good song. Oh, hello. Okay, a lot of explosions and gunfire, and that's it. End. Well then. Took us three hours to play this game. I was found 51 times. I killed 159 enemies, and I used 17 rations. And my code name is Mongoose. And apparently, a mongoose is actually better than a snake. And there was actually something called Mongoose or Metal Gear Mongoose or something like that. I forgot what it was, but it was a funny parody of Metal Gear Solid. But yay, mongoose! Congratulations, special is now available in stage select menu. That's it. Wait. Hang on. Wait, I just want to see the special. I just want to see the special. Oh well, yeah, stage select special. Which basically you just do like special uh, shit in it. You do special missions. Oh man. This was just a bitch to play. Oh, I can go back to doing the da -na -na -na. okay whatever so ladies and gentlemen this has been Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble and hopefully you guys have actually enjoyed it as much as I have or more than I have because honestly the ending was a little too much of a bitch and the fact that I've actually been playing this game for about nine hours straight from beginning to end even though it said it was three hours of gameplay but it was nine hours for me but I digress next time on what am I doing? Oh yeah, next time in the non-cooperators, I gotta find a new game to play. So, if you guys have any suggestions, I may play another Metal Gear Solid game or I might play something else. But definitely leave a comment down below, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Where did you come from?